What's up, YouTube? This is yo boy, Philly, one time. That's one time for the one time. And I'm at work right now. Um, I just thought I'd uh, drop some knowledge real fast on my part. Because some people like to think that they can criticize me on me being a Packers fan. But, like, let's just... Reel it back real quick. I live in Arizona. This is the main this is the main reason why I get criticized. I'm born and raised in Phoenix, Arizona. I've never set foot in Wisconsin, I've never set foot in Lambeau Field, I've never seen, you know, any part of Green Bay. But yet people want to say, Oh, then how are you a Green Bay fan or you're a you're a bandwagon, you only like them because they won a Super Bowl and this is that, or you're an Aaron Rodgers fan. Now, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. I'm a huge, huge fan of that man. Aaron Rodgers is, is a great is a great quarterback. You know, he he might possibly be the best quarterback that Green Bay's had. You know, for the franchise. Now, I'm not taking away from Brett Favre. Brett Favre, who set many records, is probably going to go down as the greatest quarterback to play this game. You know, but. I've been following Green Bay since A, Brett Favre, um, Antonio Freeman, which was one of my favorite wide receivers ever to play for Green Bay, Donald Driver, who is my second all-time favorite wide receiver, Amon Green, who is hands down the best running back Green Bay's ever had, no questions about it, um, Ryan Grant, who was the second best running back Green Bay's ever had, James Starks was a beast uh, during that Super Bowl run. Um, my two favorite offensive linemen that people don't understand is that most fans can't even name offensive linemen. Like, bruh, Mark Towser and Chad Clifton, the two best tackles that ever played in this league, came from Green Bay. Like, really? Let me show y'all something. This is just one hat that I own. Okay? This is just one. My last, my last name is stitched on the side of this on the side of this hat thanks to my cousin who's a big Dallas fan but he knows how big of a fan I am so he made me this hat look at this this is the draft day hat you can't even get this hat no more like come on now you can't even get this one it's all green gold trim you can't even get this hat no more all right that's one of them I got more at home but here's my second one this is a classic I like this one see this it's a little bent up right now you know, I had it chilling in my dashboard, so it's a little scratched up, but let me, let me put it on real fast. You know what I mean? Look at this. Look at this. I bet no one can find this hat ever. Like, I got this at a yard sale, bro. Come on now. This is this is my shit. This is my team. Ice on the cake. Bruh. Eat my lunchbox is Green Bay, bro. Come on now. Like. But people, like I said, they want to they wanna criticize me. They want to test me. They want to say, oh, how are you a Green Bay fan? This, this, and that. But sorry about that close-up. But, um, you know, I can go on and on. I can rant about me being a Green Bay fan all day. But don't come at me and tell me, oh, you're a bandwagon. If you don't know, like, ask me a serious question. Ask me a serious sports question. And I'll give you an answer. Shit. Most people don't remember this. But who remembers Ryan Longwell, the kicker? For Green Bay, he set every record point-wise for Green Bay, as far as kicker goes, and I think actually just set points in general. Now, if you remember him, then everybody knows Mason Crosby broke his record in 2016. So what? I mean, I know I know certain things about my team, and I know a lot of things that people don't understand, but it's crazy, right? I don't know, but this is just me just throwing shit out there. Uh, but represent your team. Let me, let me see what, where y'all at. You know, who's your favorite team? Who's your favorite player for your team? You know, I don't criticize nobody. I don't call nobody a bandwagon fan. You know, just let me know what y'all do. So this is your boy, Philly, one time. That's one time for the one time. Peace.